asking you suspend these ideas, memories, identity also. What sort of person you consider yourself to be in this type of thing. It is not necessary if uh, to awaken to your true nature is what is important to you, then what kind of person you think yourself to be obviously is not a contributing factor to that. It gets in the way. What I will promise is that these things that I am going to ask that we leave aside just for the duration of our guidance now, uh, they will still be there waiting for you at the end of our little exercise. I don't need you don't think you need to worry that somebody is gonna run off with your your stuff. I don't think okay. So it will be right there so that at the end of the exercise you can say, Oh thank you and I will collect my stuff and uh, I'll go and I'll see you later or something. No? So just leave them for a moment and check in that you're already feeling that space, a sort of spaciousness. Just by agreeing to leave uh, these thoughts, these habits, concern, conditioning to the side. And we can do this. It is not that difficult, actually. So no past, future projections, we will not accept this now. And even in the moment, mind wants to chatter and comment, and give its guidance, and also, no, no thank you, not now, later, like this. Also the habit to be imagining something or visualise, we are not going to ask you to be visualising or imagine something. So no creative thinking is necessary also. So, so, so that if someone feels, I'm not a very imaginative person, I'm not going to do very well at this, you need not worry. So you can't fail at the simple advice I'm offering. OK? So just like this, notice also that we are coming almost away from the outward thinking, you are not doing anything, but you are simply finding that uh, you should be in a more relaxed and spacious sense of being. No. Also the habit to think, OK, what is next? I am going to ask you, do not engage with uh, that habit or tendency from the mind to say, OK, OK, I'm here, now what? What's the next thing? So be aware of that, but still just keep your attention just right where you are. Simply this. Any self-image, also we will suspend this for the duration of this guidance. We are moving just more deeply into a kind of stillness. It is not an hypnosis. I am not going to throw a magic powder in your face. Everything is a sober recognition right now. <clears throat> Any sense of waiting or expectation, be aware of this and simply leave them, don't engage. So, not waiting. If you can willingly notice this and don't engage with the feeling of waiting, already again, uh, your sense of presence is more deep. Uh, natural silence and stillness. Notice that you are not doing anything. You are simply not engaging with the usual habits of the mind. You are not in a trance 
You are simply here. Please just pay attention to what is really just here. As you have been listening and cooperating with my guidance to say, leave these things, don't be holding on to any favourite ideas or concepts, or any person that you are attached to or something like this, just for the moment. I am sure you can allow that space just by yourself. So, not you plus, just yourself, just this. No self-image, no intention, no expectations, no past. Notice that you are still fully here. No stories also. See how possible it is just to be. Not to become, just to be. I had to invite you to this place, this space, now. Remain awake. I had to invite you to this space, so that I can ask you some simple, simple questions. When I say simple, I mean that you don't have to think so much about them, and just give the responses as yes or no. That's all. And the better that you can voice your responses, rather than just think them, it will be very good. So, first point I will raise. This, 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 whatever it is, space or state, it has no name, actually. But I am just going to refer to it as the, as the what is, or the isness. Is it a form? No. Is it an object? Is it the product of your senses? Are you imagining it? Are you creating anything? Just stay in this noticing, that's all. This, whatever it is, ness. Does it have any shape or size? Is it a mood? Not a mood. Does it have any attitude? No attitude. Can it become, say, depressed? No. Agitated? Can it be attacked? Can it be flattered? Impressed? Can it be owned by any person or organization and used against or for anybody? No, no it is not. Does it need your belief in order to exist? I am going to say again, does it exist because of your belief? No. no. Okay. Here is one no. Can mind exist outside of it? And while I'm on this question, may I just ask you, is there 
any boundary beyond which it is not. Can I ask a question like this? Is there any boundary to it? Can it be sick? Does it have a beginning? Here is one for you. Can it fade? Again, please, uh, can it fade so that right now it's really in focus, but if you, tomorrow morning, you know, oh, it's kind of fading. Can it fade? No, it cannot fade. I wonder if I can ask you this one. Was it born? Sorry? No, no not born. Can it die? Mm. You are discovering this now. But where has it been all this time? Huh? Here. So it's not new. For everybody I ask this question. How close are you to it? Look, look. Hmm? A few centimeters, a meter. Someone say, I am it. So, we don't need to stretch to reach it? Travel? So, uh, let, me, let me just try and summarize what we have just been doing. In these short moments together, and just by asking you to, to just leave the usual habit, you know, of uh, engaging with uh, stories and the mind and thoughts and uh, self-examination and criticisms and, all, and about future also, just leaving these things aside, not owning anything, not holding on to anything at all for now. I have been asking you these questions. That which remains, I asked you, is it an object? And you said, it is not. Can I ask you one more thing? Is it, is it personal? It is not personal. It is not personal. It has no shape or size. Is it an aura? A button? No, not aura, not aura. It's not that. I asked you, does it exist because of your belief? And you said, no, it doesn't believe. So you didn't imagine it or produce it. Did you create it? No, it is not created. You did not create it. I asked you if it can be sick or depressed, and you said, no, it cannot be sick or depressed. I asked, can it fade, whatever, the whatever it is, is. Can it fade? You say, it cannot fade. What about after three months? A little bit fade? No, okay, it cannot fade. And um, I asked, can, can the mind exist apart from or outside of it? And you said, no. Is it still no? Yeah. Okay. And I asked, where has it been? Because you are discovering this now. I hope not merely through thought, but you are actually 
in, in this discovering now. I said, you're discovering it now, but where has it been all this time? You said, it has always been here. Then I ask you, was it born? And you said, it was not born. I ask you, can it die? These are questions that are baffling many, many people. You said, without thinking, it cannot die. And then I ask only this question, finally, how close are you to it? Is it in reaching distance? You said, no distance, no distance. And your answer, you didn't see you looking around to see what the next person was saying. It seemed like it came from yourself. If your responses hmm, are what I've just represented to you, if they are true, then your responses are all about you, about yourself, about what you are. Why did I ask you to leave your usual habits aside, or to suspend your ways of operation in the mind, so that you could respond to, to, to this without opinions. Your answers had to come from somewhere else, somewhere else other than your usual cerebral activities. It must come from a deep knowing, but it is not mere knowing of information. Would you agree or not? Yes. So I'm just giving a few moments now to let that settle what I've just said, that if these responses from you are true, you're honest, they can only be about yourself, what you are in truth. Now the mind might say, <laughs> no, 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 hang on a second. No, no, no. Don't forget your problems. <laughs> Don't forget all this trouble you are experiencing. How can that be you? You must be dreaming. I say, my God, you don't yet fully realize what you are discovering. Where do we go from here? If this is true, if it is not the product of fanciful thinking or imagination or speculation, if it is true today, it has to be true tomorrow and all tomorrows. Does this fluctuate change and become something else. Everything that we perceive through the senses and the mind come and go, appear, disappear, rise, fall, like clouds passing, watched from this place of isness, what I'm referring to as isness. What really is here? Is it agitated? Does it worry? How to reconcile these two seemingly very different states? The state of personhood, which is full of thoughts and opinions and judgments and fears and imagination, and this, which is actually wordless. I did not ask you 
to control your senses and to suppress anything at all. Let them continue functioning in their natural, according to their natural laws. Who is your person? I ask you, is this personal? Is it personal? And yet the sense of the personal is observable. It's felt. Can this be intimidated by the person? Does it get frustrated by the person's activities? And being true to my promise, the exercise is over. Okay? So you are very much welcome to go and reclaim your baggage. And uh, I don't think anyone will steal them. How are you? And like this. <laughs>